Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the Feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Today, we include in our intentions our families and the families all over the world that Jesus may fill with His presence our own homes and families. As one family of the Church, we also continue to pray for our dear Pope Emeritus, Benedict XVI. May God strengthen him in these difficult times of sickness. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory Free to, to God, God in the, the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, 
we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten, firmly planted against the depth of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be unfavored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Please stand.
Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, Take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod had died, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. He rose, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go back there. And because he had been warned in a dream, he departed for the region of Galilee. He went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarean. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As we celebrate today, the Feast of the Holy Family, I would like to welcome many of you here, families who have come to celebrate Mass together with us here at the Manila Cathedral, and those who may be watching this online broadcast of the Mass in your home, in your own homes, and together with your families. We hear from the Gospel today the story of the Holy Family. They are the Holy Family, but their situation and condition is far from a perfect family. In fact, their condition was so dire and imperfect, they needed to flee their home. When a family leaves their home, it means their condition is not that easy. They needed to flee their home to go to the land of Egypt, a place for many Israelites, they have a difficult memory of Egypt. But in their condition, they flee to that 
difficult land for them. And they were being pursued by Herod, a difficult condition for the Holy Family. My dear brothers and sisters, this teaches us that God is not in search for the perfect family to live in. He was looking for the presence of love even in an imperfect family. And Jesus was in search for our imperfect human family so that he could fill it with love, with peace. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, do not look for a perfect family because it does not exist. Even the Holy Family was not in a perfect condition always. They lived in an imperfect human condition. But Jesus teaches us that even God is not in search of the perfect family. He was looking for love even amidst the imperfection of the human family. Kaya, wag kayong maghanap ng perfection sa inyong asawa. Baka sasabihin nyo sa asawa nyo, sana ganito ka, kagaya niya. Minsan po, mayroong nagpabless sa akin dito na nanay kasama yung kanyang anak. Magpapabless kasi magbo-board exam yung kanyang anak. Pero ang nagsalita sa akin yung nanay, nagulat ako, sabi ng nanay sa akin, Father, i-bless mo itong anak ko na magbo-board exam. Hindi kasi matalino ito eh. Sabi ko sa oh, sobra naman ko kayo. No? Hindi, kailangan nyo ng blessing. Kailangan nyo ng blessing. Many of us are always in search for the perfect son, the perfect daughter, the perfect wife, the perfect husband. And whenever our family is not in a perfect situation, we are distressed, we are frustrated, we are disillusioned. Because we are always looking for a perfect family. But remember, even God was not in search for the perfect family to live in. He looked even in the imperfection of the family and filled it with love. He went to Egypt an imperfect place for an Israelite. But he filled Egypt, a difficult place for them. He filled it with love. When he went home, when the Holy Family went back to Israel, they were supposed to go back to Bethlehem, the city of David. Bethlehem, they look up to Bethlehem because it was the city of kings, the city of David. But they went instead to Nazareth, whom for many people at that time, they looked down at Nazareth. According to one disciple, is there something good that comes from Nazareth? It was a lowly place. It was very near. It was in the region of Galilee. At that time, they called Galilee the Galilee of the Gentiles. It was far from Jerusalem, far from perfection, far from the city of the king. But Jesus chose to live in Nazareth, in that imperfect place so that he could fill it with love and with his presence. 
in our first reading today from the book of Sirach, we are confronted with the imperfection of the life of a family. According to our first reading, Son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. And even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. In the family, minds may fail, but love, consideration, understanding will be present even if the family fails. My dear brothers and sisters, let us remember that the Holy Family was far from living a perfect life. And so, let us not search for a perfect life. Let us search for love, for forgiveness and understanding, even in our imperfect families. And for many of us who may be living a rather comfortable life as a family, please do not look down on the imperfections of other families. Marami po sa atin, kapag nakarinig ng pagkakamali ng ibang pamilya, pinagkukwentohan natin. Alam mo ba, naghiwalay si ganito. Alam mo ba ang kanilang pamilya, nabuntis ang anak. Alam mo ba ang anak nila, bumagsak sa exam. Buti na lang tayo. I hope we will not hear those dialogue inside the family. But instead, let us help them. Help them to bring again love and charity within the family. Go to Egypt. Go to Nazareth. Those difficult places. And even in those difficult places, God can live. God can bring fat charity, and love within our imperfect families. As we continue our celebration, let us entrust our imperfect families to the Holy Family. They may have an imperfect condition when they lived in this earth, but it was not an excuse for them not to fill it with holiness and love. Amen. Please stand. The family of Nazareth inspires us to imitate the virtues of holiness and piety. With this ideal before us, we ask the Lord to hear our prayers on this family day. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family of the church, that we may give respect and dignity to all God's children, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the family of people and nations, that the rights of the old and the young will be upheld for the sake of peace, justice, and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all our families, that those separated from their family circle will find a home with God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For broken families, that God's reconciling forgiveness will be granted and accepted to restore all relationships of love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and all the departed, that they may be gathered into the eternal joy of their heavenly home, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father in heaven, by subjecting himself to Mary and Joseph, your son sanctified home life at Nazareth. As we offer our prayers, help us to follow his example, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. First, we would like to thank the choir who sang during our celebration this morning. They are the Magnificat Choir of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Parish in Valenzuela City, and they are celebrating their 32nd anniversary as a choir. So we give them a warm round of applause. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. As we near the celebration of the new year, tomorrow, December 31, our New Year's Eve Mass here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 8 p.m. to be presided by our beloved Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula. And on New Year's Day, Sunday, January 1, our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. in the morning and 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. in the afternoon. New Year's Day is the celebration of the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. And this is a holy day of obligation for all of us. Our dear Archbishop Cardinal Advincula encourages all of us to come back to church, to come back to Mass, so that we could celebrate together as one family in the church the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May we continue to celebrate together and come back to church so that as one family, we may be again together in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, especially in Thanksgiving this coming New Year. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.